Hey guys, what's up? It's Migs with Market Open. Um, I want to do a quick recap. Uh, unfortunately, it's going to be a red day recap, uh, but I want to be transparent with you guys and show you some of the mistakes that I did today. Um, as you can see, I have three names, three red trades, unfortunately. Um, I started off this morning with uh, RGNX, uh, which was one of the gap downs this morning. Um, but I, ha as I marked it out right here, um, it is there's a major moving average there. So let me show you guys real quick. Put the 200 day and the 50 day. Okay. All right. So as you notice, this is the daily chart here. It's gapping down. Uh, the next levels of resistance are down here and here. So as you can see on here, the blue line is the 50 day moving average, which I marked out. Um, so the first initial trade, what I wanted to do was an opening range breakout. So for an opening range, you need, or well, I guess it's an opening range breakdown. So you need a, a big candle with volume and then another candle to pull back a little bit. And then the third candle on the five minute, whenever it breaks the low, you can go ahead and get in. So I, as you can see, I got in right here at 29.25 and it actually ended up bouncing. So the next candle actually broke through, so I was in the profit for a little bit. But if you notice, what um, it was actually holding the 50-day moving average. So as soon as it did, it dipped down below, and then it came back up. So as you can see here, because I know that there's going to be people that want to buy this stock for cheap. So the major moving averages, like the 50 and the 200, are spots where a lot of investors sit. And so as you can see, it bounced, and it came right back up, and it got kicked out. Um, let's see here. I actually ended up adding another 50 as it broke down, or I thought it was going to break down. So I was 150 shares short, short. Um, but I actually cut it kind of short. Uh, I got out 29.30 after uh, only 30 cents. So that was that was the first trade I took on it. So I covered it. I only I think I only lost like seven bucks on it or something like that. Some because I, it was holding and I just wanted to get out. So this next candle I believe is when I, I got back in it when it broke down and again it bounced and it went higher. Then I ended up getting kicked out at uh, 29.85. I used the nine moving average here as my stop. Um, originally my, my stop was supposed to be up here with the first original 100 shares, but uh, I figured that that was probably too far. So two trades on RGNX, lost seven bucks. Then after that, I lost uh, $141. So the 50-day moving average obviously held. Now my next trade was on INSY. Uh, let's see here. Next trade was on INSY over 11 here. As you can see, it pulled back to the nine moving average, and then it started going back up. I bought it over the highs. My initial target... Um, was anything over 1140 because I was risking 40 cents so I was just waiting for it to pop back over 40 for me to be able to take a partial because the market wasn't very clean this morning it's a lot of sideways movement and for the past couple of days the market's been very strong but as you can see we had a gap up this morning in the market I was expecting it to uh, either keep going up like it has been the last couple of days as you can see so so it gapped up ran up it gapped up it ran up so right now, over the past couple of days, we've been in the middle of a January effect. But as you can see, I was expecting it to do that again, but the market's been a lot of chop uh, today. So it's just down, came back, and it's just most likely just going to keep going sideways for the rest of the day. As you can see, it did exactly the same thing. As it started pulling back, um, it hit right at the 1140 mark, and, it, and then it pulled back and it kicked me out. Um, I got kicked out. Uh, let's see here. I added another... 200 at 11.09 and I got kicked out right at 10.77. So then I ended up losing 148. Oh, actually, you know what? Our GNX actually only lost $90, my bad. And then uh, on INSY, I lost 148. SOGO was my next trade. Um, honestly, I can tell you that I probably didn't have, I shouldn't have been in this. Anyway, I look at it. I should have been in this. Um, it wasn't really moving that much, but I saw that it came back down to VWAP. It bounced. It got bought up, and right here as it broke, I bought it in at 1268, thinking it's going to head back. 
because usually that's what they do, but there isn't a lot of volume in this stock. Uh, like you hear me say a lot, you need a lot of volume for these patterns to come true. So that's one thing that I must have not crossed my mind during that time. After when I thought about it, I was like over here and it was about to break down. I was like, I really should not have been in this. So usually this would work uh, with a stock with a lot more volume and a lot of uh, more buying volume behind it. Although it's got a, already a million shares traded, it's just it's not enough for it to keep going up. So I really should not have been in this. Bought a thousand shares, I lost one hundred and ten dollars unfortunately. So one of my rules is if I lose three trades in a row, that I'm automatically done for the day. Also, my max loss for the day is three hundred dollars, so I have to be done for the day regardless. So that's how you concern or how you conserve your capital. Making money in the stock market can be easy. It's just keeping it that's very hard. So I've had three green days in a row, and today Friday uh, is my first red day. So hopefully that helps you guys out a lot. If you guys have any questions, make sure to leave it down in the comments section below. Um, also make sure to hit the little bell button and it'll give you a notification next time I upload a video. And I'll talk to you guys next time.